guys, so today I am doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag, which is created by the book Archer. I first decided that I wanted to do this video when I watched Cassidy Von Shea's um, Unpopular Opinions tag that she did, and I will link both of their videos below. So on to the questions. The first one is, a popular book or series that you didn't like? This one's easy. It was the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. I couldn't even get halfway through the first book. And I didn't think the movies were all that great. <laughs> so there's that. Um, the next one is a book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you seem to love. I'm going to go with a book that's more of a classic, I guess. And it is the Julius Caesar play by Shakespeare. And... I know a lot of my classmates when I read this in high school did not enjoy it, but I particularly enjoyed it and I think the main reason is, is because I enjoy the Roman Empire, um, the history of the Roman Empire, in particular Caesar's reign of the Roman Empire I find to be absolutely fascinating. The next one is a love triangle that the main character ended up with a person you did not want them to end up with, or an OTP that you didn't like. So, spoiler alert, I will raise my hand when I'm done talking about the OTP, but I would not watch this and I would fast forward to the next time I wave my hand if you have not read the Harry Potter series in its entirety. Okay, so the OTP I didn't like was Ginny and Harry. And it's not that I don't like Ginny and it's not that I don't like Harry, but I really feel like they weren't really compatible and I feel like Ginny should have ended up with Neville Longbottom. That is who I wanted her to end up with. So there's that. So for those of you who are um, waiting for the spoilers to be over, it's right here. Um, the next one is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. And this is going to be YA contemporary. Um, I just tend not to reach for it. And if I'm going to reach for a chiclet, I'm going to reach for a um, chiclet that's not of the YA variety most of the time. So, I think it's because I feel like the romances of a YA contemporary aren't necessarily the best. Um, or I don't really relate to them. A popular or beloved character that you do not like. I, it's not that I dislike her, but it's that I'm not in love with her like everybody else is. And this is Katniss Everdeen from the Hunger Games series. I just... There are particularly times in the second, particularly the second book that I found her very annoying. A popular author that you can't seem to get into. For this one, I'm going to go with Sarah Dessen. Um, I've only read like a couple of pages of any of her books and I just, the writing style just particularly isn't for me. Um, but I might give it another try, but I really, she's just someone I struggle with. That and Catherine and Valente, I just really couldn't get into her writing style either. The next one is a popular book trope that you are tired of seeing. For this, I'm going to go with the female protagonist in a matter of days or weeks, pretty much instantly giving their unconditional trust to a man and not just any trust but the trust of their life they would do anything this guy says and I just really don't think that that is realistic and I don't think that it's smart either so that's something I just can't stand um a popular series that you have no interest in reading for this one I am gonna go with the Divergent series by Veronica Roth I never really wanted to read it and I have no desire to see the movies so that's what it is <laughs> and I really don't have a reason for it I just it's never been something that I wanted to pick up the saying goes the book is always better than the movie but what movie or TV or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book oh for this one I'm gonna go with the Disney animated version of Alice in Wonderland. I think that that is so much better than Lewis Carroll's original works. Although 
I, um, I like both Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, and I also have enjoyed the Tim, I think it's the Tim Burton, or maybe it's the Johnny Depp. I can't remember who's in it, but I really liked their rendition of Alice. So, the more spookier version of Alice. So, I did really, really like that. Um, and there's actually a couple other movie to book adaptations that I prefer the movie for. Um, another one is The Polar Express. I read the book long before the movie came out, long before the movie was even announced. And I prefer the movie. The movie is so cute. And there's a couple of other um, instances where it's like that. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.